Today I'm going to be discussing medieval type of crossbows for survival type bows. I've had this one for a while. It was made by New World Arbalist. It's got a steel bow, runs in about 125 pounds. I wanted something I could draw without feeling, you know, shoot all day and have fun with. But what happens when you fire this bow, your string's back here, this is called the nut, it's holding it, you squeeze the trigger, rolls through, string goes forward. This is the position you want it in when you pull the string back and it pushes it back and locks it and you can feel a trigger kick, it's got a spring in it. This holds the bolt down, rudimentary sight, you don't need it, it's got five different holes in it for range and that depends on your length of the arrow because you use the tip of the arrow through the hole for the sight. When they didn't have a sight they just put their cheek at the same place each time and use the tip, look down the arrow and use the tip of the arrow in your eye line and that's, that was your sight for distance. After a while you get to where you can get pretty accurate. These things are the same way. This one has inlays so the bolts as they slide down it doesn't cut the wood which over time that will happen. Period style tie-in and this is an upgraded bow to a steel bow. Their original type, their other type of bows are aluminum covered in rawhide or something along that line to, to hide the aluminum. Steel bows were period. They were, they were rarer than the wooden bows. Okay, there's several different ways you can do this. This can be brought out of the way. When you're loading it, you can leave this back, bring the string back. You'll have to be careful that you don't hit the, pro the trigger. Reach down, grab the string, pull it up and over and set it on there. Then you're ready to go. You don't want to dry fire these like you do any, any bow, you don't want to dry fire. So you take your bolt, this is one missing a tip. The hole down in theory keeps you, it'll keep your arrow sort of on there. Sometimes the originals they did have something along that line, others not. You bring it up, aim it where you want to shoot. And squeeze, squeeze off around. The other method, take that out of the way, roll your nut back around, to where it's sitting like that. Put your foot in the stirrup. And hope, nope. Sometimes that spring don't want to push it back down. That's why I didn't get a heavy one. But my bolt bounced back. I didn't have a point on it. That's what it does when it hit a wood pallet without a point. These can be hunted with. This is one I made. It fits in such as that in between. That's rolled around to hold it. You don't need this again. And when you're shooting it, you don't want to keep your thumb up. I've done that. It'll wake you up and get your attention. It also rather hurts. But let's see if I can get it. This isn't a heavy one, so this will probably destroy the bolt. It would be handy with the proper type of bolts in a survival situation as a string can be made. All this could be set easily. Unlike a bicycle bow, if you break the string in the field, you're pretty well hosed. This, if you have the cable, you can even make one. It'd be a little bit heavier and thicker than this is with natural materials, but it can be done. This isn't a stupid heavy bow, so it's actually feasible that you could make a string in the field if you have to. All this can be reset and redone. It's easy to learn online how to do it. Now doing it's a whole different matter, but necessity is some other invention. 
These are nice bows, they're fun to shoot. 